See, this is why I prefer watching movies. How are you going? Before I show you how I made this fantastic knife throwing waste of time, let's get a review from my family. Oi, what do you think of this new thing? Huh? What do you think of this? Leave me alone. I'm doing homework. Yeah. What do you reckon of this? Just looks really stupid. Why don't you go get a proper job? Alright, thank you. So, the first thing you need is a book. Oi, give me back my dictionary! Oi, leave me alone! Wait, what do you mean? You don't even like words! Yeah, I do! No, you do not! What's your favourite word then? Um, 16? No, stop it! Give me, give me Oi. it! Once you have your book, it is time to cut out all the pages. Now, in order to not discriminate against any of these lovely people, I'm going to cut a hole across all of them. It doesn't matter whether you're a Jewish philosopher or a Mayan priest. I will cut a hole through you in order to make something. Now the great thing about cutting out from a dictionary is it gives you a chance to increase your vocabulary as well. Furlough. A short holiday or leave of absence. The soldier came home for a 10 day furlough. Oh, morsel. A tiny piece, not even a morsel of food was left. Uh, mother, a woman has a child. <laughs> now, once you rip out all the pages, you can stop now if you want, and you got a great biscuit smuggling book. Or. Julius Caesar smuggling book, although he wasn't that great around knives. Or, my favourite, the classic methamphetamine smuggling book. Now, it is time to glue all the pages together. When doing this, I like to use my friend's expensive paintbrushes. Then, you clamp it all together. So for the knife chucking mechanism, I'm going to use the inside of a binder folder, which is easy enough to cut out. Now, I don't know whether this will work or not, but what I'm imagining is using this top part of the metal, which locks closes to hold down the tension spring. Then, once you release it, the lock spring will go flying, as well as the knife which I've placed on top. Now, I'm gonna cut off the pointless parts. You could argue that's the whole thing. In case you're wondering, I have these bolt colors for legal uses only. Um, my um, 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 neighbor needed a, uh, yeah. There we are. This looks like it might work. Next, I cut a slot in the spring so the knife slots into it. Then, I'm just attaching it to a wooden board so it stays together nicely. And the final stage here, placing a spring to pull the lever up to release the knife. Nice. So, I am terrified of this thing, so it's only fair I tested on one of you. Uh, this person, Gummy Bear. I don't know whether technically I need consent to metaphorically throw knives at my subscribers, but yeah, I'm sure you don't mind. 
and I was surprised this actually worked and quite well. Like it wouldn't go through your head or anything, but it would definitely take out an eye. And here it is again, just to check I wasn't hallucinating. So now I decided to get a bit sciencey. I figured that if I mark the knife where it went into the foam, I could figure out how much force would be required if I get these scales and press it against it to get to the same measurement. And it took 986 grams of force, which is actually nothing. This bottle of milk here weighs two kilos. So I reckon I'm going to end up using one of those. Oh, here's your dictionary back. Oh, yes! 17, here I come! So if you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to see what else I get up to.